Good morning, boys and girls, and mommies and daddies, and grandmommies and grandpappies. Today's story is the school art project. It was a rainy, rainy, rainy day at school. The boys and girls did not even get to go out for recess. It was so bad. Oh, the boys and girls were just restless. They were jumping all around, and their teacher, Miss Eileen, she just didn't know what she was going to do. She was, oh. And then she remembered the art project that she had bought last summer. This was the perfect day to do it. So she told the boys and girls, now I have a surprise for you, and we'll get through with our lessons in the morning, and then in the afternoon, we'll do a special project. Everybody's eyes got big, and they thought, what is it going to be? And she says, well, if I tell you, then you're going to know. And with that, she gave them a great big smile and says, okay, let's get down to our lessons. Well, they did their ABCs and they did their one, two, threes. And most of the kids, especially the Woods kids, they already knew these things because they taught each other. When their mamas taught them, then they taught everybody that they knew. So they all pretty much knew. And they did their re reading and they did a little teeny tiny bit of arithmetic because they were still in the first grade. But you know, one and one is two. That's an easy one to do. Oh my gosh, Grandmommy's a poet and don't know it. Anyway, come time for lunch, and the lunch lady had fixed sloppy joes. Oh my goodness gracious. Grandmommy can remember eating sloppy joes when she went to school, and it was always such a special treat. Well, after lunch, and it was still raining, wouldn't you know? They came back to class, and the teacher got out this great big roll of paper. And it was that big, that big. It was pretty thick. So she said, okay, um, Allie the Alligator, I want you to come up here, please, and help me. Now, you boys and girls are going to see this, and you're going to wonder, what in the world are we going to do? And with that, she unrolled a little bit, and she went over to the side blackboard on the side of the room. And she taped up the one side, and she said, Okay, Allie, I want you to unroll a little bit, and I'm going to start taping it on the top and on the bottom, on the top and the bottom. Well, he unrolled a little bit, and the boys and girls saw some trees, but they were only white trees with black lines in them. Oh, God, this looks like a coloring book. Yeah, the boys were saying. And then she unrolled some more, and she put some more tape, top and bottom, top and bottom, top and bottom. And she got halfway through the first blackboard, and she looked around to the boys and girls and she said, you know what? I bet you we're going to have to use the, the back wall black, blackboard. Try to say that again. Black wall blackboard. Hmm. So they got to the end of the first blackboard and Little Bad Wolf was still unrolling. Or oh, Allie the Alligator, I'm sorry. Because <laughs> he's the tallest. She turned the corner. She turned the corner, and now she's at the back blackboard. And he unrolled some more, and she taped the top and the bottom, taped the top and the bottom, taped the top and the bottom. And she kept going, and he kept going, and the end of that blackboard was getting pretty doggone close. Phew! They got through with just, like, six inches to spare before they ran out of blackboard. Oh my goodness gracious. Well, the boys and girls said, okay, now what do we do? And she says, well, she says, 
everybody get their crayons out. And I want all the girls to do any of the people that you see and any flowers that you see and any toys that you see. And you can do the sky. Now, boys, I want you to do the trucks and cars. I want you to do the airplanes up in the sky. I want you to do the trees, too. And so Patty Pig raised her hand and she said, well, what about if the boys get in our way or the girls get in the boys' way? What are we supposed to do then? And don't know how come Patty was in such a bad mood that day. I guess it was because of the rain because she couldn't go out and play. But she was kind of getting snotty. And so the teacher says, now, 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 Patty, if you're in the way of some little boy, then he's just going to reach around you and, and finish his coloring, or you can reach around him. I don't want any fighting on this because when we finish it, you're going to help me roll it back up. And this picture gets, gets sent to the painting contest. And whoever wins that class gets to do an even bigger one. And that gets sent to the state contest. Oh, my goodness gracious. Miss Eileen's class was so excited. This was a big honor, and it was a big deal. They all got their crayons out, and they went over to the board, and so they, she picked the ones to do the high pieces as tall as the girls could go, and she picked the boys to do the different airplanes and the trucks and the cars and the trees. They had such a good time. They didn't even know when the bell rang. They didn't want to give it up. It was so much fun. Well, they heard the bell, and they all looked at Miss Eileen. They turned around from the board, and they looked at Miss Eileen and said, Do we have to go home? And she said, Yes, you do. And I knew it was going to take a couple of days, and it'll be here pinned up on the board tomorrow when you get back. Well, they left, and she, as they're walking out the door, she says, now, don't forget your history questions. What are you supposed to ask your mom and dad? Um, where we came from and who's, who's, who's our aunt and uncle? And she says, close enough. Your mamas will know what you're talking about. So as Piggly Wiggly and Squiggly climbed in the car, Mama noticed that they were all excited. And she says, what did you boys do in school today? And they said, oh, we hurried up with our, with our, our lessons because it was raining outside and teacher had a special project to do. She said, wow, what was the project? And with that, the three little pigs and the big bad wolf told her all about the art project. And she says, wow. She says, that sounds like fun. Do you think you could win it? I don't know, Mommy, but we're going to sure try to win it. So they get home, and it was supper time. And wouldn't you know, it was still raining. And Mommy turned on the TV, and the news was on. And the news said that there was another hurricane coming. Well, oh my goodness gracious, they had had so many hurricanes already, and thank good goodness it did not come into their part of the woods. They were so thankful and so grateful. And Mommy Piggy says, I just hope this one doesn't come here either. So she fixed supper, and they had salmon for supper. Oh, the piggies loved salmon. Oh, they loved it. And they had some collie rice, and the boys had orange juice. It was a special occasion. 
And Mommy Piggy says, do you have any homework? And the boys said, yeah, we do. We do, we do, we do, we do. Uh, Mommy, what's a family tree? Oh, she says, well, that's very easy, boys. She says, that's where you put your mama and your daddy's name. And then you draw a line and you put Piggly, Wiggly, and Squiggly. And then on top of mommy and daddy's name is the grandparents' name, mommy's grandparents and daddy's grandparents. And if you can go further back, you put their names up on top of the tree. Oh, that sounds like fun. And she says, why are you asking me this, Piggly, Wiggly, Squiggly? Oh, mommy, 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 the teacher, Miss Eileen, she is the greatest teacher. Oh, she's so good. And now we're going to ask you all the questions that you know about our family. And will you help us draw out the tree? Because she's going to pin up all of our trees. All of us, all 25 of us, mommy. She's going to pin up these trees on the board. Oh, my goodness gracious. Well, little did they know that Miss Eileen stayed after school. And she was building a big wooden tree. And she put it in a bucket with some sand and dirt. And she put it right outside in the hallway, right beside her door. And what the boys and girls didn't know was that she was going to hang their family trees up on this wooden board, this wooden tree. She knew that the boys and girls were going to be real excited. So she went home, and she was tired too. She had a little dog, and its name was Bella. And Bella's always so glad to see her. Oh, my goodness gracious. He... She's just so happy when Miss Eileen comes home. And so Miss Eileen and Bella ate their supper. And Miss Eileen did a little bit of homework of her own. Because she had some more surprises later on down the road that she kind of wanted to work on for the boys and girls. And about 9 o'clock she said, Oh, I'm tired. Let's go to bed, Bella. Meanwhile, in the woods, Mommy Piggy was telling the Piggly and Wiggly and Squiggly, all about their grandmamas and their grandpapas and their great-grandmamas and their great-grandpapas and their, oh my goodness gracious, she, she had it all written down in a Bible. The kids were so excited. Now, boys and girls, this is a real short story today, but Wednesday, we will find out just who had some nice relatives? Who had some special relatives? Okay? Some aunts and uncles and, and some grandmamas and grandpapas. Who had, the, who had the bestest relatives? Okay? Bye-bye.